I'm here with Susan Miller, astrologer and best-selling author. Hello, Susan. Thank you so much for oh, coming on to talk to I'm us. I'm so happy to be asked on. Thank you. <laughs> so tell me, how did you um, start as an astrologer? Did you always know that you had this talent? Well, first of all, anybody can do astrology. Anybody. It's math. If you like math, you'll do great. I had a mother, <laughs> little mom, who I loved with all my heart. She's not with us now, but she always did astrology. As a teenager, I loved reading astrology books that she had on the shelf. Mm -hmm. But I was born with a terrible birth defect and I never knew when it would strike. Um, I would feel terrible debilitating pain in the hip and it would it would be like chocolate syrup falling into my knee. At 13 and 11 months, I was making fudge at the stove, kind of a surprise for the family. And I felt it. I was in the hospital 11 months. I had a big leg brace up to my hip and crutches. And the doctor said, you have to go to physical therapy every day, five days a week for six hours. Now I wanted to know if all this painful physical therapy was going to come to something. So I begged my mother to teach me astrology and she kept saying no. So this is not a parlor game, Susan. This is serious. And if you give advice to people, if you read another person's chart, even if it's your sister and you don't know what you're doing, that's dangerous. Mm -hmm. She just wouldn't teach me. So finally, I wrote to the editor in chief of Horoscope Magazine. Now, when you ask an astrologer any question, mm -hmm. they're going to put the whole chart together. And she analyzed the chart and then she said, we think you're gonna walk again. So I said, mama, I don't understand some of those words she used. You have to teach me now. She said, why? You know your answer. And I just yes. kind of went like this. She said, you want to check the editor in chief. I'm like, of course I do. <laughs> this is your impossible. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. You study for 12 years. I tell you when you're ready. You never read a chart outside the family. I waited more than 20 years before I ever charged for a chart. I must have a very strong right brain <laughs> because <laughs> the world comes to me through images. Even when I'm in a tough situation, I see the situation as a little picture. No, but usually if I tell you I'm a Scorpio, do you have like a kind of expectation to my reactions or behavior? No, that's labeling and that's what's dangerous. Oh, okay. No, but I had just written in Astrology Zone, my website, a lot about Scorpio's house. <laughs> we call that a stellium, a crown of stars, and we have one, two, three, four, five heavenly bodies in, in Aquarius. And for Scorpio, that's your house of home. Now for Libra, Libra wins the jackpot because it's all in the house of love. Now, if they say, wait a minute, I'm not going out with anybody. Well, it's the beginning of February. Get your friend to make an introduction over Zoom or FaceTime. Not everybody has love aspects, for example, Taurus has the best career aspects they've ever seen. Love will come later. You're never going to have aspects this good for okay. years. So I want you to focus on your career. Now, if you're sitting there saying, I'm a Taurus, nothing's happened. We well, have to wait for the new moon, February 11th. See, I don't see little trends. I see them sometimes. Yes, I shouldn't say that. But this is as big as a spaceship landing in Central Park. <laughs> it's just huge next year for Scorpio. But you have to feather your nest to uh, invite love in. Okay. So then you have uh, Aries. Aries worked very hard last year and really had to prove their mettle over the past three years. And now this year they can have more fun with friends and they may do something for a charity. And so Aries, think about that. 
you can change the world and not even work on it full time and just, you know, whenever you can. Gemini is a very flexible sign. The screenplay, the podcast you want to start, or you might want to put an app idea on the market. Take it seriously. This is your year to make a difference through your ability to communicate. Cancer, ah, oh, I've got such good news for you. You had trouble with your partner. I love him. No, I don't love him. I think now you know if you're going to stay together or you're not. So if you have to leave Cancer, I know you always stay too long, but you have a bigger life and you're making money, big money if you work on commission, royalty, uh, any kind of money that comes through the side door in chunks. And this is a big money year for Cancer. For Leo, they're learning to dance with their partner without stepping on their toes. You need to realize that the other person has good ideas too. So this is the year where, now it's not necessarily a romantic partner. It could be a business partner. It could be an agent you hire. You're learning to blend energies. Also this spring, you'll make money on those investments. Just buy a little stock. Virgo has so many jobs coming in that if they're out of work, they may say, why am I looking for a job? All these people want to hire me. Virgo is very organized likes to learn the laws of the industry, best practices. So I think Virgo can think about that, or at least it will spell you until you find the right job. You don't have to take one you don't like if you have this other work coming in. Virgo, um, you feel happy when you're being productive. And this is a very happy year. Also health and fitness is really good. And you may find a YouTube channel or some workout program that you just love and you can do it at home. Next sign is Libra, which you know, one the jackpot would love. Now my number one question is, can I have a baby? Yes, you can, Libra. This is the best year in over a decade to get pregnant if that's what you want or to adopt a child. And you know, a lot of girls are having trouble getting pregnant, doing IVF. So I have good news for them. Now, if they don't want a baby, they don't want love right now, creativity is reaching maximum points, as high as the mountain. So they should focus on creativity. Now, as you know, Scorpio, it's the home, it's real estate. It's also help from parents. So let's say you have your eye on an apartment and you want to buy it. You might get a little help on that down payment from your mother and father. <laughs> Sagittarians? Again, communication, get into the digital world. Your ability to write is superb. This could be the year you write that made for television drama. It's a great year for you to work on your skills and to present to the powers that be. Now Capricorn, it's money, 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 bushels of money. And, uh, just imagine diamonds falling in your house of money. Oh, wow. <laughs> Shiny, beautiful <laughs> diamonds are falling in your house of money. And then uh, Aquarius, you are the headliner. You are the one who is going to be the pathfinder. You're going to lead us into new areas. You have the key to the future and we have to listen to you. So Pisces, your good time is the end of May and July because June is Mercury retrograde, unless somebody from the past comes and says, work with me. In that case, it's okay because you've already started your relationship with that person a long time ago. And obviously it worked out because they want you back. So, but if you're signing a very big contract, closing on a house, whatever it is, July is fantastic. You know, I know it's, a weird time, we're all stuck in the house, but we're learning self-reliance, we're getting organized, and we, we, we're having time to think. And people are deciding, maybe I don't wanna go back to the earlier job, maybe I wanna pivot. But I will say that in the future, if you're in a, a new digital area, or in science, or in math, if you know how to code, this is where we're going. So can, tell me about your calendar. Uh, I just love it. I self-publish all these important days I want people to know about and, and so they can read up and 
and and they match astrology zone what i'm writing oh, that's amazing <laughs> and then you also but have we, an app right well i want your listeners to have the app because it's free daily horoscope astrology zone and more by susan miller and i give a daily horoscope a little one if you want a bigger one then it's it's 4.99 a month you know life can be a lot easier if you're going with the flow of the universe yeah you know and you know when to act and when to hold back you know? Thank you so much for sharing all the details, at least the <laughs> highlights for each sign. And we'd love to have you back on the show again oh, when it's oh, time for dream. some planet shifting. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much. This Thank was.